Here's a question for you. If you had to make a choice, which would you rather have? Two two-week holidays a year or a better work-life balance every year? I last went on a holiday, and by holiday I mean like a proper holiday, not like just visiting family. I last went on a holiday in 2017, and I don't miss it. I don't miss the debt that it causes. I don't miss all the fuss of getting taxis to airports and getting on planes and trying to get to airports and trying to negotiate around places I don't know and other languages and all that sort of thing. Much as I love to explore and to travel, I don't actually miss it and instead I've opted for a better work-life balance. My main problem with holidays back in the days when I was taking holidays and when those two two-week holidays a year were escapism I was doing it because I hated my work life and I needed to get away from it but the problem is, once the holiday is over, you come back and you have to deal with the same old stuff that you run away from for two weeks. And when money got a bit tighter, I realised that I'd rather hold on to the money that I would have spent on a holiday and put that towards changing my job so that I could change my work-life balance. And in fact, now that I have a better work-life balance, I have a lot more time to get away. I do it differently now. I go to see my parents, who live a long way away, and I do it for two weeks, four times a year. So I actually get more holiday time out of it. I know it's not the same as sitting on a beach for two weeks, um, but I like being with my family and I like going back down to the place where I'd rather be living and have that two weeks of escapism. Escapism in its own way, I'm still working because I have a lot of side hustles and most of them are what you would call digital and remote. It means that I can keep working, but it means that my, my work rate is much gentler. I don't have to work stupid hours. I'm not beholden to a boss who expects me to be there at eight in the morning and seven in the evening. All the work I do, I do for me, or in my own time. So if I choose to not work in the morning and work a bit later in the evening, I can. If I choose to go out for the day and not work at all, it doesn't really matter. And I prefer that autonomy and that freedom to having a higher paid job where I am at the beck and call of a company, grabbing those few weeks a year to get away and then spending the next year paying it off, as so many people do. Holidays like Christmas incur lots of debt and people will find they're probably still paying off the last one when the next one rolls around. And I had to make choices and I'm lucky that I spent a lot of my 20s and 30s in jobs and doing all those things. So I went to music festivals abroad. I went on holiday abroad almost every year. Um, you know, I, I, I went clubbing and restaurants and all that kind of thing. And I'm done with it. I don't need it anymore. What I tend to do now is I have my four trips down to my parents, but I can also take as many long weekend or long weekend breaks as I like. So I'm planning my first car camping trip and I will fit that in around the other little work things that I've got going on. It's been a bit delayed this year. I should have been going about now, but because I am potentially going to be accepted onto this new medical trial, I'm holding off because that is more important because it earns a good sized chunk of money for a small amount of work. So, I think these are worthy sacrifices. I've reached an age where I don't want to be 
gallivanting. I just want a nice, quiet, easy life. I'm enjoying being single now for, I don't know how many years, nine years now I think I've been single. And I still thoroughly enjoy it. I love the freedom. I love that I get to do what I want when I want to do it. And work goes hand in hand with that. I get to work when I want to work. But it's taken years to get to this point and it's come with quite a lot of sacrifices. You know, I don't buy the things that most people buy or think that they need in their lives to be, to, to function in the modern world. I don't have TV subscriptions. I don't have takeaways. I don't go down the pub every Friday night. Um, I just don't need any of that. I'm at that age where it, I'm not that fussed about it anymore. I've, I've grown up, I've moved on. And having spent all of my 20s and 30s and the early part of my 40s not thinking about my future, I have to play catch up and I have to grow up. So I'm, I've been working hard over this last six or seven years to get my expenses down looking at different ways of earning whilst being happy so having that work-life balance and now that means that I can invest some of that back into belatedly retirement funds so I have my little private pension I've started my stocks and shares ISA it's not going to mean I'm going to be off going on cruises in my retirement but I'm not going to starve to death um, because I will still be able to, to afford all those things and to be able to keep that independence that I've worked so hard to get my hands on all these years and it's just taken such a long time to get here I wish I'd known sooner that I could be independent that I could live on my own and earn enough and that there are were other ways to work and it's just something that's organically grown that I've had to just learn along the way, doing a bit at a time, realising I could do this. Um, changes in the way my business earns money, in that it doesn't earn as much because of the pandemic and the economic crisis means that I've had to look further afield for other income streams, but I'm learning loads of new skills along the way and I feel like I have more freedom now with less money than I did when I earned more than I did do now, which sounds strange. You don't need lots of money to have freedom. You just need enough. But you also not to, need not to be a slave to the things that companies want you to buy, things that you don't need. You don't need to shop on Amazon every week. You don't need Netflix. You don't have to have those two expensive holidays a year and get into debt for the rest of the year. You don't have to have a new car every three years. You just don't need them. And once you get out of that mindset and you realise that, you know, retailers are lying to you, they're telling you these things because they have to make money out of you. They're not doing it for your, your well-being. They're doing it for profit margins. And I love to push back against that sort of thing. We have become a grotesquely profit-driven society where everything is about buy it now, throw the last one away and it's about the race to the top for companies and the race to the bottom for the rest of us. Just not fussed about it anymore. So I have less money, my work is different, I don't spend as much money but I feel freer than I have done in any of the previous years that I was in other jobs. That's my thought for the day. Have a good few days.